If you've seen our previous videos, you already know quite a lot about Ruth Asawa, Rick Griffin, and the Horsemen of the Psychedelic 60s. If you haven't, we recommend you do. It'll change your perspective on art. Today, we wanted to show you something that's not understood by everyone, something that stands out and is only appreciated by those who get it. We wanted to talk about abstract expressionism. What's the first thing you imagine? Paint split on the canvas, exaggerated emotions, saturated colors. In abstract expressionism, the concept and feeling are what matter. We guarantee you've seen some paintings of this art movement. At first, we thought of talking about a specific individual in this video, but realized that it'd be better if you knew some facts about the art movement first. This means that today, we've created something special for you. We'll show you two rating lists of the abstract expressionism paintings ranked by the cost and popularity. The Artling made a list of the most famous abstract artworks in the past 100 years, and we agree with their provided information. We'll start off with the name you've definitely heard at least once in your life, Wasali Kandinsky. With his painting that is probably the most famous one so far, and the one that claims the first place in our list, Composition X, created in 1939. The second place was proudly taken by Piet Mondrain's composition Two in Red, Blue, and Yellow, created in 1930. The third place is claimed by the one and only John Moreau's Ponchor, created in 1927. In the fourth place, we have an incredible work of Ben Nicholson, the 1934 Relief created in, you would never guess, 1934. And last but not least, we have Jackson Pollock and his chaotic at first sight painting, Convergence, created in 1952. Now, let's move on to the topic that interests and shocks many people, prices. This will be a list that you should consider as inspiration. They could, and so can you. If you are an artist in any way, or even someone in other spheres of creativity, believe us, you can become incredibly successful. This time we'll start from the lowest price and make our way to the most expensive abstract paintings. Number 5. $27,600,000 for Gerard Richter's Abstracts Build, 649-2, 1987. Number 4. $28,700,000 for Clifford Stills, PH 144, 1947, Y number 1, 1947. Number 3. $30,900,000 for Barnett Newman's One Mint 5, 1948. Number 2. $31,300,000 for Mark Rothko's untitled painting created in 1967. Number 1. $38,700,000 for Cy Twombly's untitled Bolsena, 1969. Number 0. The one that beats them all with its price. $300 million for Landscape by William de Kooning, called Interchange. You might think that your eyes are lying to you right now. Yet, yeah, this is all true. But why? Why would this be worth so much money? Who in the world would pay this much for those scribbles? There's an actual answer, which is pretty obvious, but we think it's worth mentioning. Obviously, none of these paintings was bought for such a price because some millionaire just walked up to them and decided to spend a fortune out of boredom, simply because the artwork was pretty. Well, those case scenarios probably exist, but not regarding the paintings we've mentioned. First of all, even if some of them are scribbles, they are for any reason but an artist's low skill. Think about it. How even is the skill of an artist measured? Especially since art is subjective. Is it the realism? The accuracy? Not really, since copying things from the real world 100% accurately is a great skill, yet still kind of mediocre. You make it valuable when you put in your art not only your time, but your whole heart. Your feelings? and world perception. This is why abstract expressionism mainly costs more than realism. You see something that you have not seen before. You get to feel it and reflect on it. But $300 million for a painting? 
Really? Even if the whole soul of the artist is in that piece, is it really worth it? Well, as we said, art's subjective, and so is the value. So yes, quantity, quality, materials, and all that stuff is real, but you yourself put value into something. If you have a $2 plushie from your childhood that was passed on in your family through generations, you won't sell it for a billion because it means a lot to you, right? That's actually also a thing in the art industry. Through time, through the hands of each owner of the artwork, the piece gains a higher price. The history of the painting also truly matters. To be precise, this is one of the main reasons the $300 million artwork of William de Kooning costs so much. The painting and the artist himself were revolutionary. The image represents a transition period within the artist's entire body of work. Did we convince you that the paintings are worth it? Would you want to know more about each of the paintings? Maybe that would help you sell yours for an even higher price.